Servus Freunde, my name is Jimmy Cage and Handling the Undead was probably the film that I was looking forward to the most at this year's Sundance Film Festival. Because it's an adaptation of one of the novels by the Swedish horror author Jon Lindqvist. There have already been two movie adaptations of his work and I think both are pretty fantastic. The 2008 horror drama Let the Right One In, which also got a Hollywood remake and the 2018 fantasy drama Border. One was about vampires, the other about trolls. But not in your typical genre fashion. This new adaptation, based on Lindquid's novel from 2005, is, as the title suggests, about the undead. But again, it's certainly not your typical zombie flick. It's a super slow burn drama, switching back and forth between three sets of characters, each dealing with the loss of someone very close. And now the return of that someone in the form of an undead, a mere shell of their former self. The main theme the movie tries to explore is pretty obvious and knowing that this is not a typical horror movie but more like a horror art house drama, the main theme was kind of obvious even before the movie has begun. That theme is of course loss and how we deal with it. How we don't want to accept that a beloved person is no more. How we try to hold on. How we deny reality as long as possible. Unfortunately though, I didn't think Thea Wistendahl's film is adding anything particularly new or fascinating to this approach. And unfortunately, I have to say, in the end, the movie didn't really work for me. The first third, I was still very much on board with the introduction of these characters and the introduction of this dark, greyish, desaturated, sad setting. These big apartment buildings where life just happens and ends. The movie has a dense atmosphere and there's only very little dialogue. There doesn't need to be more, you get what's going on. You get immersed in the mood, in the sadness and despair. And the movie does a nice job playing with sound and silence. It adds tension, because you are kind of anticipating some kind of cheap jump scare, but thankfully there isn't one. Then around a third into it, there is some kind of mysterious supernatural event which becomes the cataclysm for the dead returning to life. Which isn't happening on a big scale here, that's only hinted at, but instead the movie focuses on the already mentioned three sets of characters. An old lady whose life partner has died. A mother, played by the worst person in the world star Renate Reinswe and her father, who have lost a young son, respectively grandson, and a family of four, with another actor from the worst person in the world playing the father, in which the wife or mother of their children dies in a car accident. The storyline that at least got a little bit to me was the one with the two old ladies. Their tenderness and intimacy were touching. But the other two storylines barely worked for me and a film like this that treats its supernatural zombie setting so serious or heavy also runs the risk of becoming a little bit pretentious and then silly as well. And unfortunately that was happening for me. Especially the storyline with the little boy, because that boy looks so over the top, well, undead that I had a hard time staying on the film's grounded wavelength. And while I thought the themes or theme and the art house approach were kind of predictable, the ending or last act was even more so. And I don't want to spoil it, but the things happening in the last 10 minutes were just so on the nose that it almost became a bit funny to me. And I just couldn't connect with the movie's emotional core. Watching it, I wasn't angry or annoyed or anything, though it's really slow and not a lot is happening. I still enjoyed the dark atmosphere, but when we were approaching the end, I thought to myself that yeah, this just isn't working for me and isn't giving me anything new or profound or exciting. And that's a bummer. Maybe it works better for others, right now there are certainly a few very positive reviews out there as well, but sadly it wasn't for me. So in numbers, this is just a 5 out of 10 for me. More like 5.1. But I don't do that.